amazing artist. I hope you're having a great day today. We are going to start finishing up our very busy spiders. So far we've used some straight lines in this artwork. We've used vertical lines, horizontal lines, diagonal lines, and we even used some bumpy lines. Now I did what's called a resist painting. I drew my lines using an oil pastel. You could have used a crayon too and then I painted on top of it. When I painted it, that oil pastel resisted the paint so you could start seeing those lines show up. Now, you could have done this in pencil and colored it with a different material. That's totally fine too. Today, we're gonna actually make the spider for our spider web. And you're gonna need a few things because we are going to be collaging our spider onto this spider web. When I say collage, that means we're going to be cutting and gluing today. So what you're going to need is of course your spider web. Over here, I have a black piece of paper. This is gonna be the main color for our spider web, but you can do any color that you want to. If you don't have colored paper, you can just take a white piece of paper and maybe use a black marker and color it black. But if you can't do that, then you can just make your spider out of white paper and color it whatever colors that you want to. Okay, what I wanna see this week is that we are cutting and gluing. So Miss M is gonna use a black piece of paper for like the main body of our spider and the legs. I have just a little piece of white paper cause that's how we're gonna make his eyes. And when I'm collaging, I like to use a little cup of glue. This is just regular washable glue and I put some water in it so it's not as thick. Um, but if you don't have this kind, then of course you can just use a glue stick. That'll work just as well. Or you could use a glue bottle, whatever you have at home. I also, of course, have some scissors here. And to help us while we're cutting out the shape of our spider, I'm also going to use a pencil. And for the eyes, I will use a black marker. So I know that's a lot of materials, but we're going to go ahead and finish up this project today. And once you get all your materials set up, it really shouldn't take you too long to finish up your spider webs. All right, so I don't need glue yet. So I'm gonna move my glue over to the side. And I'm actually gonna move my spider web off to the side too because we're not gonna need that for just a minute. I'm gonna start with my black piece of paper which is going to be the main body of my spider and his legs. We're gonna use shapes to make our spider. The main shape of our spider is going to be a circle. So you have a choice. You can freehand your circle. That means just try your best to draw a circle or you can find something around your house to trace. I just found this in my art room. It's just a little plastic cup and I'm going to use this to trace the body of my spider. I've chosen to trace this for my circle because it is pretty small. We don't want to make a giant spider because then we're going to cover up our beautiful background that we've been working hard on. So find something pretty small. This is about three fingers wide and we are going to trace the circle and to trace something you just lay it down on your paper and I'm gonna hold it with the hand I do not write with I'm gonna hold it in place because we don't want it to move around hold it in place and with my other hand I'm taking the pencil and I'm going to trace around that circle and there we go so that's gonna be the main body of our spider and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out when I say scissor safety, I mean being safe with your scissors because scissors can be very dangerous sometimes. So today while you're cutting, I want you to practice your best scissor safety. That means making sure your scissors are pointing away from your body. Your scissors should never ever be pointing towards your body. This hurts my arm to do this anyways. So if you're cutting like this, try to position your arm to where you're cutting away from your body. I also have my thumb in the small hole and my fingers in the bigger hole. You might only be able to fit two. You might be able to fit three fingers or four. Four is a little cramped for me, so I just stick with three in these scissors. Your scissors are probably going to be different, so just do whatever is most comfortable for you and we always cut with our thumb on top never cut with your thumb on the bottom that's a very hard and dangerous way to cut and look when I cut with my thumb on the bottom where are my scissors facing they're facing my body so we don't want to do that so rotate to where your thumb is on top grab your paper with your other hand. I like to call this hand my lazy hand because he's not doing anything. So we got to give him a job and his job is to hold my paper and show my scissors where to cut. 
This hand is rotating the paper around to show my scissors where to cut. My scissors are not moving around this circle. They are just opening and closing, opening and closing. And my lazy hand over here is showing my scissors where to cut. So please remember those safety tips while you are cutting today. All right. There is the main body for my spider. So I still need to cut his legs out and we're going to use rectangles for his legs. Spiders have eight legs all together and we're gonna have two rectangles for each leg. That means we are going to have 16 rectangles all together. So I know that's quite a lot, but what we're going to do is I like to just cut some strips out. We don't want it to be very thick strips because he's a spider. His legs are pretty thin. So I'm gonna cut some thin strips of paper from my black paper because I want his legs to be the same color as his body. But maybe you're getting creative and doing some different colors for your spider. That's totally fine. Um, and I'm going to cut out, that seems like a good amount. And you can see how they're pretty thin. We don't want his legs to be super thick, okay? And like I said, we need 16 rectangles. Now these are way too long, aren't they? So we need to cut them up a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of guess however long you want his legs to be. So I'm gonna start um, placing them down whenever I cut these rectangles off. And so that's the start of one leg. And then the second rectangle is going to come down. So it kind of makes the start of a triangle, but we're not gonna turn his legs into triangles. It's just two diagonal lines connected to each other, okay? So this one looks like it's a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna trim it off a little bit. This looks like a pretty good size, still pretty skinny for my spider. And I'm gonna start another leg. But remember, each leg has to have two rectangles. So I'm gonna cut another rectangle for that leg and it's two diagonal lines connected. So this diagonal line is gonna go up. The next one is gonna go down. See that? So now he has one, two legs. Let's go ahead and do one more. Cut a little rectangle. And these legs are just gonna go right next to each other on his body. So I'm just moving up because my first leg started down here. And we're gonna do four legs on each side. So let me get my second rectangle for this leg and go ahead and do his last leg because spiders have four legs on each side. All right, there is his last leg on that side. Now I need to do the same thing, cut out my rectangles and I have two rectangles for each leg and I'm gonna put his legs on this side now because he has one, two, three, four legs on each side of him. So my left side already has four legs, so now I'm gonna go to the right side and do his legs on that side. All right, there is my spider. Like I said, he's not glued down yet, so I just have a very good idea of where I want these shapes to go. Um, you can put your spider wherever you want him on your paper, okay? But we need to have eight legs, and each leg has two rectangles, and all of his legs are connected to a circle right in the middle, which is his body. Once you have eight legs all together, two rectangles in each leg, then we're ready to glue him down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my rectangles off to the side for a second. I know I just messed up his placement, but I remember it. And I'm gonna glue down the circle first. If you're using a little glue cup like this, then we're gonna do dot, dot, not a lot. If you're using a glue stick, then just glue how you normally would. Although, I definitely recommend going around the edge of whatever you're gluing because that's gonna help it be as secure as possible. So I just did some dots all the way around the edge, dot, dot, not a lot. If your glue is dripping, then drip, drip, wipe it on the lip of your cup, not the lips on your face, sillies, just the lip on your cup. That's the outside edge of your cup. Drip, drip, wipe it on the lip, dot, dot, not a lot. And when you have dots going all the way around the edge, you're going to flip your circle over and glue it down. I like to hold it down and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
All right, once you have counted to 10 and glued it down, we gotta do a wiggle test. Wiggle test is when you flip it over and you wiggle it just a little bit. You don't have to wiggle it aggressively, friends, just a little bit. And if nothing comes off, then you're good to go. However, it looks like he is coming off. So I need to hold him down for just a little bit longer and then I think he'll be ready to go. All right, he looks good to go. Now for these little skinny rectangles, it's gonna be hard to do little dots. So we can just add some glue, just paint some glue on the back, pick it up, and then glue it to your spider in the same positioning that we just had. All right, when we glue it down, we're gonna hold it in place and count to 10. And let's do a wiggle test. Flip it over, wiggle it a little bit, and he looks good, actually. No, he doesn't. His body is still trying to come up. So if that happens, you can just add a little bit more glue and try to press down again. Okay, now I have to do another skinny rectangle. And remember for these, you're just gonna paint glue right on the back. That's why we have a messy mat to catch any of that mess. All right, and we're gonna connect these two rectangles, remember? They are at a diagonal and they're connecting diagonal lines. And we're just gonna hold it down in place just like this. And count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Hopefully this wiggle test will go better than the last ones. Wiggle it a little bit. Oh yes, that's so much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down all of my legs, making sure I have eight legs all together four legs on the left side and four legs on the right side. And then I'll be right back to show you how we're going to make his little eyes. all my pieces down so I'm gonna do one last wiggle test wiggle it after you flip it upside down and if nothing falls off then you're good to go if something does fall off then you can just add a little bit more glue and try again now we are going to make the eyes for our spider and this is actually the last step today so you should have a body you should have eight legs all together so I'm gonna take my marker now and I'm going to draw two circles okay you can make them as big or little as you want to. This is your spider, so maybe you want him to have big bug eyes. Maybe you want him to have medium size, or maybe you want him to have teeny tiny little eyes. That's totally up to you. I think I just want his eyes to be medium size for me, but I'm gonna make him a little bit silly, and I wanna give him some cross eyes. So I'm gonna draw a letter C in my one of my eyes. I'm gonna color it in. So there's one pupil drawn. I just drew the letter C inside of the circle and I colored it in. Now for my other eye, I'm gonna do a backwards letter C on the other side of his eye and I'm gonna color it in. I want my spider to be a little bit silly. After you draw your eyes, you are going to cut them out. Of course, using your best scissor safety. All right, there are my spider's eyes all cut out. Now, all I have to do is glue them down. You know what, I think I changed my mind. You could do your eyes like this if you want to, but I have a really good idea. So let me pick these off yet. Luckily, the glue is not dry yet. So you could draw his eyes like that, but I thought it just kind of blended in a little bit too much with the black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a colored piece of paper now, and I'm gonna use purple because I think it will look nice with the colors I used in my background. And I'm gonna draw his eyes again, two circles, however big you want to make them. I'm going to cut those out. We're not going to draw pupils in these because I have a really good idea for what to do for our little spider eyes. All right, so now he has some purple eyes, so let me go ahead and glue those down. Make sure you get them in the place that you want. I'm happy with where they are now. And now, instead of drawing his pupils, with our black marker, I'm going to cut out his pupils with the black paper that I already have. So you're gonna draw two smaller circles and these are going to be his pupils. You see how tiny they are? So these are gonna be a little bit trickier to cut out if you wanna make your eyes like this. But just remember to take your time and use your best scissor safety, friends. 
All right, there are my two pupils, and I still want him to look silly and cross-eyed, so I'm gonna glue his pupils towards the center of his eyes so it looks like he's looking at his nose. These are very tiny pieces, so we just gotta try our best to get it in the position where we want it. All right, and there are my eyes. He looks so cute and crisscrossed. The other eyes I had were pretty good, but I just thought it looked a little bit strange since we collaged his whole body. I thought, why don't we collage his eyes too? Cut them out of paper and glue them together. So you could do either way, whichever one you want to. All right, so I have my body, my legs, and my eyes, so I'm done for today. I am gonna do one last wiggle test. Wiggle it just a little bit. Nothing's coming off, so I'm good to go. Make sure you do your wiggle test too, so that none of your papers fall off. All right, I hope you guys have a lot of fun making your very busy spider. I can't wait to see how they turn out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.